Bay Area Congresswoman Barbara Lee pumped up the crowd at this teacher rally in front of Oakland City Hall. Behind the scenes, there's confusion and frustration at the bargaining table. My goal as superintendent has always been to increase the compensation of our teachers. The Oakland Unified School District says what's on the table is a historic $70 million offer, a retroactive 10% raise, a $5,000 one-time bonus, and a 13% raise for all teachers, up to 22% for some. My team has thoughtfully planned out a way and made recommendations to make sure the district can afford this massive compensation package to maintain financial stability in the years to come. The problem is the teachers union, or the OEA, claims it's not an official proposal. The last proposal I've seen was three days ago, okay. and that excluded a lot of our members. So from where we're standing, that, that's the proposal, to exclude our members and to not provide a, our students with resources. The district says a written proposal was submitted Wednesday night. The union says not true. Adding to the confusion, the district argues it doesn't have to negotiate all of the union's demands. There are items that are outside of the scope of the contract of what we are required to negotiate. Um, the school board has not authorized negotiators to go outside of that scope. Some of what would be considered outside of the scope are what are known as common good proposals. The district defines them as greater societal issues like homelessness. But once again, the union doesn't see it that way. What they're calling common good, we're calling our student services. We're talking about special education services. We're talking about mental health services. We're talking about targeting resources at our primarily lowest performing school. That is bargainable. That is under the law bargainable. The two sides will continue to meet, but until there's a deal, the strike will likely continue. In Oakland, Ansan Hassan, ABC 7 News.